So in the past hour or so, I was looking through some sports articles. I came across this Bleacher Report article where basically they give a grade to every single team's offseason. And I was curious, okay, like what grade are they going to give the Packers? And so here is what they have to say. And I'll give my thoughts on if I agree with them, if I disagree with them. Because obviously everyone has their own opinion. So we'll see what theirs is. So they say Green Bay Packers, their offseason grade overall, C-. minus. So Bleacher Report really doesn't like what the Packers have done this offseason. And so I'll read through what they have to say, and then I'll let you know my thoughts. So they say the Green Bay Packers offseason was obviously rough after losing key pieces. Devontae Adams and Zadarius Smith, true. It's impossible for the Packers to replace Adams' impact in 2022, despite the haul of draft picks received from Las Vegas. Even considering these departures, Green Bay avoided a worst-case scenario when Aaron Rodgers re-signed for three more years. And honestly, I keep forgetting, or I don't keep forgetting that Rodgers maybe wasn't going to return, but now with Rodgers being back, with Devontae leaving... You know, there was even that chance that Aaron Rodgers went to Denver. He went somewhere else. And clearly, for the Packers to be able to retain Aaron Rodgers, I think that was the most important thing because if the Packers don't have Rodgers, clearly, you know, maybe Jordan Love is okay. Maybe he's not. Even if they had Devontae, they still could have struggled without having the, court, the elite quarterback in Aaron Rodgers. So much better to lose Devontae, I'd say, than Aaron Rodgers. But obviously, losing the best receiver in the NFL or, not, or one of the best clearly hurts this team. They go on to say, Adam's desire to leave plays a part in this grade. Getting a first and second round pick in return for the veteran is a great haul. Clearing his cap hit also allowed the team to retain Preston Smith, Devondre Campbell, and Rasul Douglas. Then they say the offense's identity will be tied to an unknown cast of newcomers. True. Keeping Robert Tunyon and Randall Cobb are nice, but Tunyon is coming off a torn ACL, and Cobb had just 375 yards in 2021. Losing Marcus Valdez scaling in addition to Adams means Alan Lazard and a rookie will need to be ready to assume large roles on offense. So every single person I feel like in the world knows. The Packers are lacking in the wide receiver category, losing Devontae and Marquez Valdez-Scantley. And clearly, when we look at the Packers' offseason and the fact that we lost them, we haven't really added anyone yet when it comes to free agency. I understand the C-minus grade. Honestly, at this point, I guess I could somewhat agree with it um, because it's really hard when you lose one of the better receivers in the NFL and you don't add any receivers. It's hard to give yourself a great grade. But considering we were able to, you know, Saved $20 million from releasing Devonta Adams. We did get to retain Devondre Campbell, who I wasn't sure we were going to. Rasul Douglas as well. So even though this Packers offense looks a little shaky right now, I think we'll be okay. We have the best, I'd say, one of the best backfields in the NFL. We look a little shaky in offense. This defense, I think, is going to be legit next year, especially coming into year two with Joe Barry. We got Rasul Douglas back. We got Devondre Campbell. We added Jaron Reed on defense, defensive line, who could be okay. We'll see. TJ Slayton coming into his second year on the defensive line. He was looking pretty good there. Um, I think this Packers secondary could be legit. And we're coming into year two under Joe Barry. So I think this defense could really carry the Packers. We have a great backfield. We still have Aaron Rodgers. And it's still very, very early in the offseason. So even though right now Bleach Report gives us a C-, minus, by the time the season starts, I think we could be more up at like an A overall. Um, I still think the Packers are going to be contenders, even though, um, you know, the, the offense looks a little, a little, there's some question marks right now on the offense. I think everyone would agree with that. But I think with the draft picks we have in the next couple weeks, and then after that, we'll probably add some kind of free agent. I think the Packers will be okay. And we were like, what, 7 or no without Devontae Adams. So I understand a C- minus from Bleacher Report. Personally, maybe I'll give him a little bit of a higher grade. Um, but we are just getting started in the offseason. So that's pretty much my thought on the situation. Let me know your um, offseason grade for the Packers in the comments down below. Do you agree C minus? You think it's higher? A, A plus, F? What do you say? And if you've been contemplating, you know, about subscribing and you've, it's just been on your mind recently and you just can't decide whether to or not to, you know, I understand the dilemma it takes me weeks or months to decide if I want to subscribe to somebody. Um, but feel free. Feel free. That's, that's it.